I was born and raised in Prince George. My dad worked in the logging industry, so I've been around the, both the lumber and the trucking industry for most of my working career. My name is Annie Horning. I'm the CEO of Excel Transportation. We move the fiber. We are the link from the sawmills to the pulp mills, from the bush to the pellet plants. We move all of the raw product that's required for the manufacturing plants. This last year has been really hard because the fiber shortage hit us the worst. They'd been predicting it for about 10 years and it really hit home this year. This is a very tight margin industry very tight. We won't succeed if we don't continuously look for a better way, which is why the ESSO program came to us in the beginning. So we really looked at the ESSO fuel program in part for the fuel economy, but the other big part was the clean running engines. In a fleet of 40 odd trucks, there's always something that's going wrong. For me, the biggest worry I have each day is to make sure that we have enough trucks available and since we've switched over to diesel efficient, we're doing less work on our DEF systems. We don't have to have any more cycles. Trucks start up as normal. They can idle the extra little bit of time in the winter when it's cold. 80% of our fleet is using SO diesel efficient, and our numbers came back at a 4.8% improvement in fuel efficiencies. That's our whole business is trucking. It's huge. Any opportunity to save some money that impacts either our bottom line or gives us the opportunity to give better rates out to our customers uh, just helps to move us forward in the business. Do a test run on it and switch over because we have noticed such a good outcome from this fuel. Every little penny counts in this industry so we were pretty excited with some of the promises that were made from the SO program and it's proving its worth. <laughs>